Hey everybody, we're out today and I'm using the Rode Wireless Go. So I'm just going to see what that's like. Um, not used it for a while, only used it a couple of times. And uh, I wanted to use it a little bit more to be honest. Um, and I could have used it on different things where, like washing the van, washing the car, um, fixing the side steps on, I could have used it on that. I still could have been, my voice could have been closer to the microphone. So, I just thought I'd test it today, give it a try out. But yeah, it's had some uh, brilliant reviews and it's ideal for like I say, if you're working, you want to video yourself, but you want to work away from the, the car or whatever you're doing. But you still need your voice into the video. So yeah, I mean, I can walk away from this and I can still record my video, video and record my voice from a distance. So... Last time I, I did try this, it didn't work, but it was my fault. Um, the adapter you get from GoPro to plug into the side of the GoPro cameras, uh, I never pushed it in further enough, because I was using the Ulanzi cage, which I'm using now, and I thought it was connected in, and it's not. Well, it wasn't. So I've made sure today it's connected in, and it should be uh, recording me. So, see you in a minute. So, what can you use the Rode wireless mic for? Well, you can use it for many things. Um, you can, basically, if you're, say, you're in the gym, and you're doing, you're showing people how you set a, an equipment up, and obviously you've got to have the camera free to be able to uh, get your voice in as well, but from a distance. So, there's quite a number of things. You could be doing some maintenance on your car and you've got to keep the camera away so it doesn't get damaged, but you can still video yourself and the Rode microphone can still pick your voice up. Now, I'll do a little test on this in a minute to see, people are saying it's, the distance isn't good. Well, we'll see, won't we? Well, the way the uh, GoPro mic attaches, as you can see, I've got the, the mic here, and the receiver is on top of the camera. That then plugs in to uh, the GoPro mic adapter. Now, once that's on, I mean, this is what I'm using. People are using the mic, uh, the, uh, what's, it, what's it called? The mic mod on the uh, Halo 8s, 9s. I'm not, I'm just using the old Wireless Go Pro mic adapter set underneath on its own little cage. And I'd love to see what the, uh, my voice has come out like on this. But this is where I'm going to test it now for a distance. Right, this is it moving me back towards it. 14, 50. <laughs> My camera as far away as this, but um, it's just just to show if I hope it's recorded after walking away from it, but yeah. It, it just goes to show, but I think that dog knows where the camera is. Um, yeah, 
be funny if he cocks his leg up on it. It won't be uh, husky anymore. Anyway, so you can see, if you're doing something and you're working on something and you want that distance away from it but still be able to record yourself and record your voice as well, you can do it. So, if I was uh, working on a roof and I was doing some tiling or whatever on the roof, but I still want to video myself doing it but obviously explain what I was doing, I've got the mic with me and it's picking it up from the wireless receiver. Now, that's just one scenario. There's, there is other things what you could be doing with it. Um, you could be on your motorbike and obviously have the, this underneath inside your helmet and it's uh, recording you while you're on your motorbike talking. And you've got your GoPro on the front of your camera on your front of your motorbike. So there is quite a number of things. I mean, there's Robert, Robert John Kerr, brilliant, brilliant vlogger. Um, he's come on this morning and I am going to look a bit sick and tired of Robert because he's bringing these things out, he's showing me and then he's tempting me into buying it. So he's come out with this morning with the magnetic road clip which basically it can stick on, it saves losing you, your microphone. The magnet's that strong, what he's showing you how strong, you could tell how strong it was the way he was demonstrating it. But it just clips on and sticks inside so you can still have your clip as well as the magnetic thing so you've got, got like a double protection. But yeah, he's, uh, he's quite good. But Robert, if you're watching this, please stop showing me things what I want to buy. It's not on. Anyway, let's uh, get back to the camera. So, that's just one scenario of uh, what you can use it for. Well, a couple of scenarios, isn't it? But, um, you could be, I, I don't know, gymnastic and you, or acrobatics and you, you want this on. I have seen one who is doing acrobatics with his and he's on a um, trampoline or trapeze and he's, he's, he's quite good. He puts the little wind muff on and on that wind muff it doesn't come off um, and it's it, it's quite good. It, protect, it stops all, well, doesn't stop all the wind but it muffles quite a bit out. So I like it and uh, time will tell now because I am going to be using it more regularly I'm going to it's, it's an expensive thing to you to buy not to use um, so that's what I'll be doing from now I'll be using it more it's got on top of it a battery indicator it's got the level you can have low medium and high I've set this on low and I'm using the GoPro 808 I'm shooting on 2.7K and 24 linear. So it just seems to work for me for uploading to YouTube. And then I edit everything through Luma Fusion. And Luma Fusion's uh, just up updated, so it's I think it's 2.4 now. I've not had a good look into what extras I'm getting on it, but obviously I will do over the next few days. I've been quite busy um, doing a few other vlogs, like I said on the previous video, I was doing uh, Jan's brother's van with him, um, washing that down. And then obviously my next one is uh, the registration plates and the process of doing it. So keep an eye out for them because they should be uh, quite good. Uh, let me just put him on the lead. Yes, so he's back on. He's back on the lead now, and we're just taking him for his walk again and a little bit of a talk and testing the road uh, wireless go. So I like it. I like it. It's good to have that uh, same moderation of voice coming through instead of like up and down and then walking away from it. I can do a lot, quite a bit more with it. So, 
we're back on the track now so anyway thanks for everybody who's watching and who's subscribed and uh, please hit the uh, subscribe button at the bottom and I'll see you all soon bye for now